since the previous video I've um, machined in the ports on the cylinder block uh, and this is the exhaust outlet and I've drilled for the stud bolts also on the steam test I've drilled for the stud bolts and the same for the cover and again this is the exhaust outlet so this was all done on the CNC so the next part of the operation is to drill um, the various passages that connect the uh, inlet ports to the cylinders and the exhaust ports to the exhaust outlet I did a quick card drawing this is full size uh, I needed this to confirm the angles so these are, are the um, for the exhaust ports and on the other side here we've got for the inlet ports so first off we're going to drill the uh, exhaust ports and the angle's 30 degrees although it's not really necessary but as a sanity check I've cut out some of the drawing and I'm just going to stick it on there and so I've got a visual reference as to where the tool should go so that's 30 degrees So I'm going to drill this uh, passage 6mm diameter um, So obviously as you can see here in the drawing There isn't a flat surface to start the drill So I'm going to go in with an end mill uh, There's a face cutting end mill Just to put a flat surface on And then follow up with the drill So I'm just going to use the drawing As my guide Okay, so I'm just eyeballing, uh, getting it near the centre. Okay, I think we're set. So I'll flip this around and just do the other side exactly the same. Okay, we're setting up for the uh, inlet ports now. So this has to be 9 degrees Ok just a quick sanity check against the sketch I think we're looking ok So we're drilling into a shallow angle here so I'm just going to use a spotting drill don't think we need to bother with the end mill um, the spotting drill has got a lot of stiffness so we can take that in enough to uh, come in afterwards with the ordinary drill so I've set my x-axis to zero so we can come back to that position but we can adjust it if necessary but I've still got the scribed line on from when I marked out the position of the hole so I can in fact line the drill up to that just use a, a magnifying glass to get somewhere near Right, 
right we've got three holes to draw so I'll step over four millimeters and because we're on a radius we can come in a little bit so I'll come in 0.3 0 and the X. Okay so we can come across to the other side and do the same. good so we'll do exactly the same on the other side Okay, I've just set this over at 20 degrees, so I'm just going to mill um, a flat across those ports. I decided to go ahead and change it to 40 degrees, see what that looks like. So I've gone ahead and uh, made these little uh, glands. These are for the valve guides and they screw into the steam chest. So this is a drawing twice full size. And the steam chest, which is this uh, frame here you can see, uh, has six holes drilled along its length. Unfortunately, I went and drilled seven holes along its length. So I'll work that one out. So that actually meant that I've actually got a hole sitting here. Which is not good. To miss this hole I would have to move the valve gland 6mm. So when you look at this side of the drawing you can see this is the buckle. Which sits around the uh, slide valve and this is the valve rod. So you can see that this valve rod is actually offset from the centre line of the buckle and the slide valve. 
So moving it six millimeters this way just moves it to the other side of the center line. So it's not spurting anything as far as that's concerned. So when you look at the uh, plan view of the uh, valve gear, this is the valve rod. Uh, so we'll be moving this uh, six millimeters this way. So actually it doesn't uh, cause any problems with the rest of the valve gear. Um, as far as I can see nothing interferes with anything. So that looks like it should be okay. One of the things I need to do is find a place to put a lubricator uh, which pumps oil into the cylinders, the lubricator cylinders. On the actual uh, drawings for the model this is located off the front buffer beam which totally destroys the look of the engine and is not representative of the uh, full size uh, loco. So I was going to try and see if I could squeeze um, a lubricator in this area. I need about two inches wide, one inch deep. Um, so looking at the other elevation it would actually be sitting here. Okay so actually moving this six millimeters to one side may actually uh, make it easier to get a linkage to the lubricator to drive the lubricator so that it can pump oil. So it, it may be a benefit in the long run but anyway so that's uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this uh, gland six millimeters in on both sides um, so it's going to be a little different perhaps a little bit more interesting okay so I've gone ahead and done that so you can see this is the position the hole should have been in directly in line with this hole so here's the glands just screw in Thanks for watching, see you next time.